Hi everyone, just a quick video on the intake air temperature sensor. What it is, what it does, some of the symptoms that might be caused if it's faulty and uh, then how to test it. So first of all, as the name suggests, the intake air temperature sensor is there to monitor the temperature of the intake air. So I've got the air, air filter housing here and this is the intake pipe here. And then we've got the uh, intake air temperature sensor there. Why is that important? Well, uh, obviously colder air is denser than warmer air. Um, so there's more oxygen content in dense cold air than there is in, in hot air. So it's one of the pieces of information the ECU needs to be able to put the right amount of fuel into the mixture and create the perfect burn. Um, without that information, some of the common symptoms might be uh, hard starting, um, rough idle. Some cars will go in a sort of a limp mode or a get you home mode because it doesn't have that information. And often because it's safe to run an engine in, a, in an overfueling rich state than it is a lean state, you'll obviously get poor fuel economy as well as the engine puts extra fuel in just to, just to be safe. So those are some of the symptoms you might get if, you, if your intake air temperature sensor is faulty. So uh, how are we gonna test it? Well, the, simple, the sensor itself is quite a simple one. There's only two pins on the back here. So hopefully you can see that there. So all I've done is get a multimeter and put a pair of crocodile clips on both sensors. That actually doesn't matter which way around you go with that. Normally in the car, it would receive five volts and based on the temperature change, a different amount of voltage would be sent back to the ECU. But for this, we're just going to do a resistance test. So I've set my multimeter to 20,000 or 20k ohms, killer ohms, which is thousands. And as you can see, it's reading 4,000 uh, ohms resistance effectively. Because it's a positive temperature coefficient sensor or a thermistor, the higher the temperature, the lower resistance. So what I'm going to do is put heat on, onto the sensor. I've taken mine off the car here, so I'm just going to put a hairdryer on the end of the pipe but if you do want if yours is on the car you can simply just put the hairdryer somewhere nearby and it'll heat up the air inside what i'm looking for is a steady reduction in the in the resistance no big dead spots no big jumps but just a steady drop in the resistance as the temperature uh, increases inside the intake pipe and then obviously i'll turn the hairdryer off and then i'm looking for the same in reverse i'm looking for a steady gradual uh, increase in resistance any dropouts or dead spots would suggest that the sensor is faulty. So uh, I'm just going to put some heat on it now and we'll see if the resistance uh, reduces gradually. Okay, I'll stop around there because that's probably about as warm as any intake system's ever going to get. Uh, so now I'm just looking for a, a gradual increase in that uh, in that resistance again. It, it dropped nice and gradually. There was no big dead spot, so um, I'm expecting as this cools down again, it'll be the same on the way up, and that this sensor is actually in okay condition, so uh, no need to replace. Okay, I'm happy that's uh, recovering gradually back to back to rest. So um, could take two or three or four minutes for this to, to fully go back to normal. So um, that's how you test it. Hope it's been useful and I'll see you in the next one. 